Welcome back. In the previous video, we discussed important terminologies related to software process management and improvement. In this video, we will revisit the capability maturity model and capability maturity model integration. The capability maturity model is a model uh, used to develop and refine an organization's uh, software development processes. Uh, this model was uh, developed in 1980s at the Software Engineering Institute, which is commonly known as SCI at uh, Carnegie Mellon University, USA. The SCI's mission is to uh, promote software uh, technology transfer, particularly to uh, U.S. defense contractors and uh, it uh, has uh, a profound influence on uh, software uh, process improvement. Uh, in contrast to the ISO 9001 which specifies uh, a minimal acceptable quality level for software processes, uh, the CMM uh, establishes a framework for continuously improving the processes and in fact is uh, more explicit uh, is more explicit than uh, the ISO standard in defining the means uh, to be applied for uh, process improvement. The CMM has uh, five levels and each level has various key process areas defined. Uh, to achieve a certain level of the CMM and the requirements related to that uh, a specific key process area uh, have to be met. So uh, uh, there are five levels in CMM and they include uh, initial, repeatable, defined, managed and optimizing. So uh, at the initial level, uh, the processes are uh, not organized or uh, even uh, these processes uh, they are chaotic uh, success is likely to depend on uh, individual efforts because uh, processes would not be sufficiently defined and documented to uh, allow them to be uh, replicated then uh, uh, the second level is repeatable uh, so at this level uh, basic project management techniques uh, are established and uh, successful practices uh, they could be repeated because uh, the required processes uh, would have been uh, made established defined and documented then uh, the third level defined uh, at this level uh, an organization has uh, developed its own standard software processes through uh, greater attention to uh, uh, particular uh, on like uh, uh, documentation, standardization, and uh, integration. Then uh, the fourth level is a managed level. At this level, uh, an organization monitors and controls its processes through data collection and uh, analysis. Whereas uh, the last level is optimizing at this level, uh, the processes are uh, constantly being improved through uh, monitoring feedback from uh, current processes and uh, introducing uh, like uh, innovative processes to uh, better serve the organization's uh, particular needs. Uh, here we see uh, the key process areas. Uh, that are related to any uh, specific level. Uh, for example, uh, to achieve uh, a particular level, uh, we can see that the organizations uh, uh, they need to work on these process areas to improve their processes. For example, if we see that uh, uh, to achieve a level two that is repeatable, uh, uh, there are several key process areas that. Uh, uh, need to be worked on, for example, uh, like requirements management, software project planning, software project tracking and oversight, and so on. So, uh, uh, for an organization to uh, uh, achieve a particular level of CMM, 
it needs to uh, bring its uh, processes up to uh, the level of that uh, process. So uh, achieving a particular level of CMM uh, actually uh, uh, helps organizations uh, get an advantage over uh, its competitors in uh, winning the like projects and bids because uh, naturally uh, the clients would prefer an organization that is uh, compliant with particular level of CMM uh, than those organizations uh, who are uh, not compliant. Then uh, the CMMI model. Uh, the CMMI model uh, expands beyond software engineering to help any organization uh, to measure their capabilities and uh, improve their performance. Moreover, CMMI is understandable, uh, accessible, and uh, flexible enough to be uh, integrated with uh, other methodologies such as uh, like Agile. Uh, the CMMI model helps organizations understand their current level of uh, capabilities and uh, performance and uh, offers uh, guidelines to uh, optimize the business uh, results uh, to optimize or uh, improve their uh, business processes. Uh, now, uh, how uh, this model is different from a CMM? Uh, the CMM measures the maturity level of an organization by uh, determining if an uh, organization completes the specific activities listed in uh, the key process areas without any uh, specific concern uh, on whether the completion of such activity leads to the desired results or not. Um, although CMMI is also an activity based approach, but the major difference uh, here is that uh, this, uh, the CMMI takes a more uh, result oriented approach when defining and measuring the key process areas. Uh, so, uh, uh, CMM documents industry best practice, uh, practices uh, uh, and uh, they are actually categorized on uh, in, um, uh, into different categories and uh, uh, they are actually uh, helpful for organizations in uh, uh, evaluating and improving their uh, processes. Then, uh, the levels in CMMI. Uh, just like CMM, uh, it also has uh, five levels that is initial, repeat, defined, managed, and optimized. So the first level that is uh, initial, um, this level describes an uh, immature organization without any uh, defined processes. And in fact, those processes, they run in an ad hoc, uncontrolled, and uh, reactive manner. Then uh, level two, uh, level two of CMMI requires management of organizational requirements uh, through planned, mayor and control processes. Whereas uh, level three, which is uh, defined, uh, it is an uh, in fact improvement of CMMI uh, level two and focuses on um, organizational standardization and uh, deployment of uh, processes. Uh, whereas uh, level four, which is managed, uh, it actually identifies sub processes that significantly contribute to the uh, uh, efficiency of the overall processes. Whereas uh, level uh, five, which is uh, optimized, this focuses on continuously uh, improving the process, uh, processes and their performance through uh, incremental and innovative uh, technological uh, improvements. Then, uh, the CMMI has 22 process areas that are uh, further uh, organized into four groups. And these four groups, uh, uh, they include process management, uh, project management, engineering and sport. So uh, here is a representation of uh, the four groups and uh, the related key process areas. So we see that uh, 
in process management group or category the related process areas are organizational process definition organizational uh, organizational process focus organizational training organizational process performance and organizational innovation and deployment similarly uh, uh, the second category is project management and the key process areas related to this are of project planning project uh, monitoring and control uh, supplier agreement management integrated project management risk management quantitative project management the third category is in fact uh, uh, engineering category and here in fact uh, uh, mostly uh, the activities that are uh, purely related to uh, uh, that are uh, actually the development activities uh, they belong to this category for example you can see that uh, we have uh, requirements management um, uh, here similarly requirements development is here technical solutions product integration verification and validation so these are in fact core development activities and they have been uh, categorized in uh, in the engineering group whereas uh, 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 the sport group that has a configuration management process and product quality management measurement and analysis decision analysis, uh, analysis and uh, resolution and uh, causal analysis and uh, resolution so uh, that's all for uh, our discussion uh, about uh, the CMM and CMMI in fact, uh, uh, for any organization that is interested in improving its uh, processes, uh, it is uh, important to uh, uh, improve uh, uh, its processes uh, according to the guidelines of uh, the CMM or CMM IMOD. The materials in this video are based on the book title software process definition and management for more details you can consult this book thank you